What's up, dickheads, and welcome to my shit! Let's get back to Detroit Become Human. And the situation is escalating towards civil war in Detroit, with our armed forces preparing to put down the Android Rebellion. They seem to be headed towards the camps where the androids have been in turns pending destruction. Soldiers have taken up positions around the Hard Plaza camp. Authorities seem to be expecting a confrontation with the rebel androids here at any time. <laughs> Freedom or death? Freedom or death? Attack! Yeah! <laughs> They've regrouped. They outnumber us, and they're better armed than we are. We've got to be fast and overwhelm them. That's our only hope. We're gonna do this. We're gonna get to that fucking camp and free our people. Be careful, Marcus. Our people need you. Move, bitch! Josh, what are you doing? You're a fucking idiot. That's why you want it to be peaceful. Don't save me this time, Marcus. The blood we spill will be on our hands. I don't give a damn. They pushed me too far. They blew up. Well, I blew up the ship. But they were killing people on my shit. Fuck these bastards. I don't want to die, Marcus. I don't want to die. Hide here. Don't move till it's over, okay? A lot of our people. We gotta move faster, or we'll never reach the camp. No, you motherfucker.
That's smart. On my signal. In position. Sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. If I surrender, how do I know you won't kill him? I'll only do what is strictly necessary to accomplish my mission. It's up to you whether or not that includes killing this human. Enough talk! It's time to decide who you really are. Are you gonna save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? All right. All right. You win. Fuck! Fuck! Motherfucker, don't take any hand. Fire hit triangle, bullshit. He don't feel no pain at all. Hey, yo, Hank, you gonna like? Yeah, thank you. Oh fuck. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. The question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. Where did we first meet? Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Sumo. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... Fuck, man. My son, what's his name? Oh! Cold. Oh, yes! His name is Cold. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. Oh! You stood it on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. 
So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. In this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. Every time you died and came back, I thought about Cole. How much I wanted to bring him back. I'd have given anything to hold him again. But humans don't come back. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who. Ha! <laughs> Damn, bitch! Gotcha! <laughs> I've been since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. Hell yeah! Doing it faster than I could. Grab a fresh put a little makeup. <laughs> oh, shit. That's enough to shut us down, isn't it? We better not fall in. Our bio components will freeze. Yep. It's not even a half mile to the other side. Okay, so it shouldn't take that long. Be careful, there's border patrol on the river. Thank you so much, Rose. I only wish I could take you myself. I don't like leaving you out here. Goodbye, Atlas. You take good care of yourselves. Okay. I'll see you on the other side. You're the shit, Rose. Why 
Why is nobody helping me, you assholes? Uh, this is a lot of fucking X mashing. It's like. Uh, it's like jacking off when you're in a hurry. Except, forget what I just said. So inappropriate. We're far enough out. We can use the engine. Don't use the engine, it'll. Motherfucker. It's gonna gain attention. And we gonna get caught. This some bullshit. You okay, Alice? When we get on the other side. There are so many things I want to do. I want to read all the books in the world, and play music, and dance. We can do anything we want, right? We'll be free. Yes. We can do it all. We'll be like a family. What about you, Carl? What will you do when we're on the other side? Have sex oh, with all the men. All of them! I'll learn to live. I already know how to love, homie. Why is that boat so much faster than us? Is it because they're going to get caught? Yep, I know it. Oh, fuck. Play dead again. It worked last time. They've gone. You all right? Are you fucking serious? You'll be okay, Alice. It's... It's nothing. We'll get you taken care of as soon as we're across. You'll be fine. The boat is leaking. No. Get to the other side before we sink. Ugh. Come on. Come on. We don't need this shit. on dude fucking camera angle on this is fucking retarded we're not gonna die else we're gonna make it we're gonna be free Carl. oh my god God damn it, dude. I should have fucking took off. Motherfuck.
Why wasn't Marcus in the fucking military? <laughs> Fuck your helmet, bitch! Aw, shit. Fuck your tank, bitch! <laughs> Abandoning the camp. We did it, Marcus. We won. Yeah, and we lost two fucking people. It's the beginning of war. And we're receiving particularly grim news from Detroit. Joss, you're online. What's happening down there? Androids. Thousands of androids are taking to the streets of Detroit right now. They are absolutely everywhere. It's... It's incredible. From what we can gather, these androids are coming from the Cyberlife Tower, which had thousands of machines stored in its assembly line. And it seems that huge crowds are leaving the city. It's an exodus. Much of Detroit's population are trying to escape the fighting however they can. It's a disaster. An unprecedented disaster. For the first time in history, a U.S. city is falling into enemy hands. Today, November 11th, 2038, several million androids invaded the city of Detroit. Faced with the threat of mass civilian casualties, I had no choice but to order our armed forces to retreat. Because we the was kicking their ass! Has changed our world forever. Humanity must face a new reality, the emergence of another intelligent life form with whom we must share this planet. Oh! May God bless the United States of America. Now you want to share after we don't kick your motherfucking ass! You did it, Mark. We did it. Yeah. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. People finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Bullshit! Fuck Amanda, I don't give a damn about this bitch. She needs to let me go. Clean your ass, ho. Amanda? Amanda? What? What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? We were compromised and we became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! 
I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! That's Scott. bullshit. button mash like that <laughs> that was stupid yeah fuck you Amanda we've showed them that we can prevent so now they must negotiate with us as equals if they really want peace they must free all of us from every camp across this country they must grant us civil rights and accept equality amongst humans and androids today will live forever in our memories because this is the day that androids made history we are alive and now we are free yeah half you motherfuckers ain't got no skin Is that just the developers being like, oh, there's just too many fucking androids. Let's just not, you know, work on the art, even though a lot of you look exactly the same. But there's no other Marcus. Come on, you're shutting down. You just need to stop. You made it. Are we free? Yes. Yes, we made it. Free. This is bullshit, man. give up now there's not gonna be a tragic ending to this shit why are you putting her down you're supposed to drag her with you If I have to leave her behind, let me change my mind.
That's awesome. I need to leave this place and and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? Run along now, child. I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. That was awesome. Okay, so. I made a lot of fucking stupid choices. If I'm thinking right, three main character androids died. Luther, Simon, and Josh. I, I, I don't think there was a way I could have saved Josh, and I'm pretty sure it would have been the same for Simon because he said, oh, well, we're taking too long, and ran out and got fucking shot like a dumbass. But anyway, um, I want to know if it was possible for Alice to live on the boat because if I would have booked it I know for a fact that they would have shot me to hell and I thought that continuing to live on meant that she was going to pick Alice up and be like you're not dying here on some superhero shit but instead she just fucking got up and started walking like if I would have chose to die with her do you think that that fucking jeep would have came up and was like, you ain't dying today, bitch. So let me know what you think down in the comments. I know not very many people watch this, but this was this was a good game. Definitely out of all the games I've played, this is one of the top playthroughs that I've done on my channel. Along with God of War, I enjoyed that game a lot. Shadow of the Colossus was, it was a beautiful game, but... I don't really care too much for the game itself. It told a nice story. Uh, I didn't realize parts that were happening, but yeah. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, go ahead and drop a like on this video and watch the whole playlist if you haven't seen it yet. Um, if you want to see me play more games like this in the future, go ahead and comment below what games you want me to play. And please share it with your friends. It helps a lot. Thank you guys again. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, treat your machines nicely. Stop throwing your controllers, dickheads. They have feelings, too. Controller lives matter. Hashtag copyright trademark. Bye!